Go ahead and try this ACT math question. A neighborhood recreation program serves a total of 280 children who are either 11 years old or 12 years old. The sum of the children's ages is 3,238 years. How many 11-year-old children does the recreation program serve? This is one of these what I call standard word problems because it's a very familiar type of setup. You're given two different numbers of things, in this case, two different numbers of 11-year-old kids, two different numbers of 12-year-old kids, and we know that that adds up to 280 total kids. And we know that the sum of their ages is 3,238, so that each of these kids has a certain well, value or a certain age value, right? So that when we multiply the number of 11-year-old kids by 11 and the number of 12-year-old kids by 12, that sum should be 3,238. So it's a very familiar type problem where you have to set up two equations and two unknowns and then solve them. So let's do that. So let's let x equal the 11-year-olds. And let's let y equal the 12 year olds. And it's really good to write this out just so that you are clear on the definitions of your terms so that you don't make any mistakes later when you're setting up your equations. So the total number of children is 280. So the number of 11 year olds and 12 year olds should add up to 280. And the total number of, or the, the sum of their ages is 3,238. So in other words, 11 times the number of 11 year olds plus 12 times the number of 12 year olds should give us 3,238. And now we have to solve this two equations, two unknowns as we normally would. Let's go ahead, we're trying to solve for X because that's the number of 11 year olds. So let's multiply the top by negative uh, 12. And when we do that, we're gonna get negative 12 X plus negative 12, actually we'll do it right here. Negative 12x plus negative 12y equals 280 times negative, no, 280 times 12, 3,360, and then we know that's negative. And now we'll go ahead and add these up. So the whole reason why we multiplied by negative 12 was so that the 12y and the negative 12y cancel, and we're just left with our x. So 11x plus negative 12x is negative 1x, or just negative x. And when we add these together, we're going to get pretty much the answer directly. Uh, let's see, 3060 minus 3238. So we get negative 122, or x is equal to 122. And that should be choice B. And if we wanted to, we could check this, right? We could see if B is 100 or if X is 122, then the number of 12-year-olds must be 280 minus 122. We can plug those numbers into the second equation. And when we did all that, we would see it would work. So very standard type question. You should be comfortable setting these up and solving them. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.